Thank you so much for uh, listening and uh, being aware of the webinar that we did today, Mobilizing Equity, a Gem of an Idea. And this was a webinar put on by the U.S. Coalition of Black Women Businesses. During the presentation, we talked about access, equity, disparities, strategies for empowerment, collaboration and growth post-COVID-19, and the call to action to mobilize Black women businesses. We first started by talking about socioeconomic disparities and the impact, the gap between white wealth and Black wealth was staggering and we presented the data. We talked about income and wealth disparities impacting health disparities, Black businesses disparities, and disparities in the community in terms of social justice. We later went on and gave real examples of businesses and strategies to launch uh, that using experiences as well as other assets, human capital assets. We talked then about growing businesses and how uh, Goldman Sachs has put a program in place to not just look at the capital needs and requirements to grow businesses past the early stage, but the expertise, the human capital, and how they put teams around them. And then we talked about succession planning and the successful harvest and why Black business owners should prepare uh, the next generation and move on and become serial entrepreneurs so we can have more community uh, black owned businesses by those who have been successful. And then we talked about the collective community growth post COVID-19. The number one was blue ocean opportunities in tech, finance, health, and others, uh, other industries to develop continuous mentor and mentees, uh, not to just settle for one on one, but to have multiple mentors and multiple mentees, to seek diverse sponsorships, partnerships, and networks, career long development in terms of skill building and relationships, and leveraging and leading diverse teams outreach back into uh, areas and communities where you might not have reached before doing an outreach now and giving back and connecting the vision of wealth. The vision that many of our young people see is one of poverty. We need to inspire, motivate, and elevate and let them know that the vision of wealth is attainable. And then also not to just settle with this domestic business building, but Building business globally. Uh, the U.S. Kenya Free Trade Agreement talks have just started. Previously, they were working on the African Trade Agreement, and that just didn't go forward. They are now trying to, to work out how we can have more free trade on the continent of Africa, and this is the first in their strategy, and hopefully we'll look for that to be replicated across the continent. And recommit to unity and accountability, not to just look for the solutions to our problems externally, funding externally, but to commit to do whatever we can do as professionals and as businesses uh, among ourselves as well. The final piece is why empower and improve equity for black women owned business because they are the fastest growing group of entrepreneurs in the country. The Now List is a list produced by a, a black woman business owner that really documents all uh, many of the businesses in the country and that can deliver a product and service uh, 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 virtually. So if you wanna do business with black business owners, you can. And she also mentions in her documentation uh, that there are other lists. And if you truly want to outreach into the community, there are ways of doing it. Uh, often, we just don't seek and extend. And finally, in summary and conclusion, I do a, a call to action. There will be much opportunity after COVID-19, but you have to have the right skills, the right relationships, and the right networks. We can leverage diversity, creativity, and capacity building uh, uh, within the neighborhoods. And uh, we, we, sh we should start doing that now. We don't have to wait to do that. And there is power in collaboration to launch, develop, and grow these businesses. And the call to action is not to just wait and look for someone else 
to do it for you. Don't look for the government because the government is burdened. Much of the wealth in the country is not in the government. In the government, much of the wealth lies in private individuals' hands. And so, as a strategy, start looking at what we can do within our communities for ourselves and to help others in the co uh, community. COVID-19 will accelerate the future for now for more and better businesses. We don't want to go back to normal. The normal that we had had the majority of Black people in poverty. We want a new and a better vision and a new and a better opportunity for all of those in our communities. Thanks. That's the end of my presentation.